Hey, how's everybody doing today? Rami Z. I just wanted to do a quick video real fast. Got a couple emails from a couple subscribers. Um, they need a little help setting up their TD Ameritrade or Thinkorswim account. So let's just dive right in, you guys. Now, when we do sign in, this pops up. This is crap to me. I don't usually use this, and I don't think I ever will. It's basically a distraction. So we're just going to close that out and get out of here. So that goes away you guys the first thing we see is basically working orders filled orders cancel orders which is your activity and positions so when you when you open your face I'll show your activities and positions right now the market is closed so it's not showing us anything I don't have any working orders or I can fill they're canceled so you won't see that during the time I don't really use this you guys I know if I have a working order I'll basically know if I have a filled order after a while you'll get the hang of it but we're gonna go to set up real fast just to help you guys set up your platform and we're gonna go to look and feel you guys look and feel we're gonna click on look and feel and as you can see my color is dark the reason I like dark is I do a lot of my research at night so the light is too bright for me so I'm just gonna show you guys real fast we're gonna put light and we're gonna apply the settings to make it light so that makes a difference but um I'm usually not comfortable with this so we're just gonna go back to setup we're gonna go to application settings and we're gonna go to look and feel again and we're gonna make it dark now to, all I have to do is apply settings but before I go there you guys I just want to show you they also have old school thinkorswim or high contrast which I'm not comfortable with either or I rather have the, the newer version I like to keep up with technology you guys and I suggest you guys do the same you know um, the font right here my font I have it on small because I'm basically used to it it's all I need but they do have medium they have large they have larger and then very large if you guys could see but right now I'm comfortable with small and um maybe in 10 years I'll need the larger the larger but right now we're good so let's go to spacing our spacing is normal they have tight they have roomy for you guys play with this see what you guys like let's go back to the apply make our screen dark again and our next stop you guys is chart so we're gonna go to charts right here just to help you set it up a little bit you click the chart part and then we go to charts so this was a company I was actually looking at earlier let's get rid of that you guys I'm sorry I should clear that out but this is what you basically get when you hit the charts you know so as soon as we get into the charts for example let me put in my a ticker V this is one of my tickers I'm watching for tomorrow you guys or for today actually it's about 4 30 in the morning so let's get into it so this is VBIO you guys so this is a year chart so I'm gonna look at the intraday chart first before I do anything if I'm looking at a stock I'm looking at today's or most recent yesterday's chart whatever the most recent chart is so that's the key resistance and key support so when I look at the intraday chart I like it but I also have to look at different charting so I'm gonna look at the yearly chart after that just to see if I like it I kinda like this pattern I don't see too many bag holders so this is one of my patterns that I like um kind of on an uptrend it you see it kind of came down here but it's spiked up back to three now you guys always have to watch the volume see right here like we didn't really have too much volume until right here the volume started building up and what happened when the volume builds up the stock build up now we're gonna go during the day if this was during the day I would hit level 2 because we always want to watch level 2 you guys so we're gonna go to level 2 just click it one time and bam you get level 2 under your chart so let me just move this up you guys just to show you so you could play with this you can move it down during the day I don't need the whole screen of level 2 you know I'll have like just a little bit because I rather really look at the scar. This is the best picture to me and it always will be. But at the same time, we always want to watch level two, you guys. Now let's say the stock market's open right now and we see um bidders at 290, more bidders at 290, more bidders at 290, more bidders at 290. And the bid size right here, let's say it's a hundred. 
so it means ten thousand so let's say it's ten it means a thousand let's say it's one it means a hundred what you see in the bid size you guys is the actual shares people want to buy but at the same time you have to know that there's people that hide their orders there's people who manipulate like they'll, they'll show that they're only buying a thousand but then as soon as they buy that thousand they're right back in with another thousand and then they'll show another thousand and that's how you could kind of notice that you know a lot of people will even when, especially when they sell you guys they'll disguise their sale like sell a little bit at a time sell a little bit at a time like if I wanted to buy 10,000 shares I could easily disguise like or even if I wanted a mental order I could buy a hundred at a time 200 at a time like you don't know there's orders there's mental orders also in there and if this was the day the um, market maker will be right here you'll see the different codes market makers which are the the, um, the people who make the market basically put in orders for themselves put in orders for their clients differently they use different type of routes my favorite is Arca usually but we're gonna get level get rid of level two you guys real fast because we don't need it right now and oh before I leave there let me just show you during the day I'll have level two and I'll also have times and sales because when we do look at the level two these are not actually the trades you guys these are the bidders and the askers basically which are the buyers and the sellers now it'll show you the highest bidders and askers here but these are you guys have to realize these are not the actual trades now times and sales will have the actual transactions that are happening so this will also help you to see the actual trades that are going through and um it just uses it as a guide you guys after a while you'll get used to it and see it you know just keep keep looking at it over and over again we're gonna go back we're gonna get rid of times and sales so we're gonna click that we're gonna get rid of level two so we're gonna click that we're gonna go back to the charts you guys now let's say I wanted to do, make a trend line so I'm gonna go to my trend line click and I'm gonna let's say for example we're just gonna click this and we're gonna click this just to show you guys you know you can even go sideways if you guys like you know, if you if you like to go sideways, you cl just click and then go sideways, just to make your own little trend lines, you guys. You know, now to get rid of the the trend lines, if you want to start all over, all, it's very simple. Remove drawings and all drawings. They're gonna ask you guys, yes. So let's go to a five day chart, you guys. Now, if I wanted to look at like low support I would see support around right here this is what I see that you guys now you guys have to get your own feel for it and, and and then I'll see a little resistance right here but hey, we just hit three dollars you guys so this is a little channel you could see it kind of broke it kind of broke the three dollar area so I'll watch this tomorrow and I won't get in it right away because I'll usually look for a dip because it's kind of risky to get in right in the morning I like to play safe trading so I rather miss the initial you know getting in part and just wait for a dip so just to show you guys you can make your own trends on you can make longer term support you know you can make longer term resistance you see there's a lot of resistance in the threes right here in the past few days but it did break three right here so we don't know you guys and also always have a always have candlestick charts always use candlestick charts you guys don't use lines don't use shades you're missing a lot of information so basically this is a candlestick chart which is some confusing to some people but real quick let's just get into it real fast um let me go to a year daily chart just to make it a little simpler we're gonna zoom in you guys just to show you like for example on this day on the 27th of december this is a green candlestick so basically the stock opened right here the stock closed right here reached the high of 424 reached reached the low of 245 I believe but it closed right here you guys so basically this is the open these are the this is the high 
this is the low and this is the close when you see wicks coming out that's basically the the highest it reached you know and if you see a wick coming out the bottom that's the low it reached but for a green candlestick it means this is the open this is the close and this is the high now when we look at red candlesticks or pink whatever you want to call it it's it's a little same but it's a little different you guys at the same time like when we said the green is the open right here and the close right here the red is actually the pink the open at top and it closed at the bottom and it reached the low right here we don't have any wicks coming out of this one so but which means it opened right here it closed at the bottom and it reached the low of right here of the wick coming out you know and the next chart we see the same thing again it opened right here it reached the low of 192 193 and then it closed back up here as for the the next candlestick we see it open right here at 212 and it closed at three dollars but we don't have any wicks on this one you guys so just know during the day it, it, it traveled in this area the stock was in this area during the day I hope that helped a little bit but I'm gonna show you guys one more thing that I like it's flexible grid so we're gonna go to flexible grid this is where I could watch two stocks at the same time during the day Phoebe one of my two stocks and I am GN enter these are the stocks I'm watching for tomorrow you guys um and during the day I'll be you know some people ask me oh, could you really trade with one screen I actually did have like two or three screens before and I realized that when I do have two or three screens I over trade and less is actually better you guys it's better to be in one or two positions at a time so you could actually keep up I've you know over a year of trading I realized you could actually make more money when you trade less over trading causes losses revenge trading causes losses following you know hypes and alerts causes losses you guys I basically trade you know the ticker so I don't I don't care about the company I mean I, I know what the company does um, I don't know what their flow is their outstanding shares the shorts but I don't really get too much in the fundamentals you guys um, I like to keep it simple you know and this is to me I like trading the ticker everybody's different you know you're gonna have your own way but basically these are the charts during the day and all you have to do is put your ticker in here set up your hit your if you want to have your big buttons you can just press big buttons buy market sell market I do not do that you guys we don't buy market we don't sell market we buy limits and we sell limits so we get rid of that big buttons I do not ever 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 buy market order you guys too risky for me but let's say this the stock market was open right now I would have this up and I would have level 2 up and I would have the times and sales up now depending on which stock I'm looking at I'll have live news also and just in case you never know you guys something pops up or you never know what could happen you know overnight news could happen but this is what I basically have during the day and most of the times I won't even have the live news you know because I'll basically already know the news it so I'm, I'm I'm basically just watching this and watching this you guys during the day you know this good news could have a bad reaction a bad news could have a good reaction once you get into this you guys you'll all you'll see that just because good news coming out doesn't mean the stock will come up the volume is very important level two is very important and the charts very important to me this is the best picture that you have right in front of you real time picture to see what's going on and this will help guide you you know I know with listed stocks it's a little different there's not too much stacking action which it means it just happens faster so it doesn't stack up too much but if we watch it you know and you see a lot of bidders at 290 for example and you'll see bid size let's say here 100 200 300 400 you'll see him uh, bidding at this price over you'll be like wow okay we have a lot of bidders at this price always add two zeros you guys to the BS to the bid size and right here will be the market makers names and stuff like that but basically that's about it you guys I don't use all this other stuff you know this is trade if you want to trade you could ha have the trade up here I don't use that I actually I actually make the actual transaction from my phone so I don't you know get too much into that it's actually faster 
and I'm just used to it you guys I used to um, do it off in class off my phone so it's what you're used to but I'll watch this you guys now we have scan let's go to scan real fast just to show you this is where you could run your scans at night find your criteria what kind of stocks are you looking for stuff like that how many stocks you want to show you know excuse me I don't usually use the scanner um, I just got stocks to trade and I, I love it and it's like having four or five websites in one so I don't have to keep jumping from website to website to website so you guys make that investment it's gonna save you a lot of time and save a lot of money and it'll definitely pay for itself let's go back to charts you guys so we're gonna keep it simple we have our level two here we have our chart right here and we have our times and sales right here if I wanted to get rid of stuff all I have to do is click it level two get rid of Time the sales get rid of charts switch charts charts get rid of right here we're back to normal you guys so let's go back let's hit chart again the chart comes back level two comes back times and sales comes back and analyze um, I don't really look at this stuff if you guys want to look at the fundamentals I suggest uh, Yahoo Finance um, Market watch is, you know, I don't really look at the calendars and the earnings. It's good to know, like, when earnings are coming out, but I don't use this at all, you guys. Remember, like Tim always says, keep it simple. It's better for you. It's easier for you. Don't make it too complicated. I don't use all these, um, let me show you guys. All these different studies, you know, candle, uh, bullish only candlesticks, crossover circles, John Elliott, John Studies, Fibonacci's, moving averages, all this other stuff I do not use. I might look at the moving average, but it's not going to determine me. So, this is the best picture for you guys. So, trade the ticker, I recommend. Do not, do not get too much into it. Don't believe none of these companies, man. A lot of them will go up, but they'll come right back down. So, guys be careful I hope this helped a little bit and um, if you guys have any questions you know feel free to reach out to me um, uh, I had a couple people ask me like how do I learn about level 2 I'll, I'll leave a link under this um, video for level 2 if you guys want a video on level 2 um, Tim Sykes get straight to the point I must have watched it maybe 10 times you guys about level two you guys gotta watch over and over you gotta think of this as a big game like let's say for example you get a, a video game you know like when I when I was young I got a video game and I would never get up off the couch un, uh, until I beat the game so it's basically a big game you're you're playing with people they're taking your money or you're taking their money now 90 percent of traders lose money there's different reasons for that you guys but what do we have to do to to get out that 90 percent so whatever those 90 percent of our people are, are doing to lose money we don't want to do so i don't want to be in that 90 percent and i'm not going to be in the 90 percent so you guys have to have this focus and you, you you have to you have to invest in yourself you guys like this is not that difficult it's, it's very simple it's not easy like I always say but it is simple if you give yourself an hour a day of just looking at charts and going through histories and patterns and go through Tim's DVDs in a year or two just imagine where you would be in a year or two you guys so let's make this year a great year you guys invest in yourself invest in your future always get better you guys never stop learning good luck to everybody you guys and a happy new year goodbye